Hi friends, it is week two of our at-home printmaking class with Make It Springfield. Um, so I had tons of fun with the people who were with me last week. Um, if you weren't with us last week, no big deal. Just go ahead and register. Um, I learned how to use Linktree this week. Ooh. So now um, on my page on either Facebook or Instagram, you can find the like a one link and then I'll give you the option to register for the kids class or register for the adult class. Um, so make sure you register if you want to join us this Friday. What I'm about to show you is just getting your collagraph plate prepared. I'm going to find something to write the word collagraph on so that you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, um, we're talking today about getting your collagraph plate prepared. Um, if you don't get it prepared by the class on Friday, but you still want to join the class on Friday, guess what? I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead and join us if you want to just watch um, while people are working and we're talking and learning online on Friday. Cool, fine, whatever. Um, or if you want to um, just work on making your plate while everyone else is printing, it doesn't matter because you're at home. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so this week is collagraph printing. Okay, so collagraph. Okay, that's an H. Hmm. I'm a teacher, but I don't really have teacher handwriting. Kind of whatever. Anyway, so collagraph collage. You get it. So. A collage, of course, would be when you are taking bits and pieces of different papers, different colors, different textures, etc., etc., cutting them up, ripping them up, gluing them onto one surface. So, collagraph printing is my favorite, super fun, because you get to have that fun collage element, but then you also get to print with it. So, I'm going to show you some of the things you might want to try. Um, and I'll show you some examples of color graphs I've done before. So what you're gonna need is you have different options for different adhesives. Um, so adhesives, glue, you know, whatever. Um, Mod Podge is good stuff. However, if you're using um, bigger objects that you're gluing down or thicker things, it's not going to work as well because it is like super water soluble. It's basically just glue and water, but for some reason, it's you know just better in the fancy yellow bottle. Um, so, Mod Podge is great for thinner things, smaller things. Um, tacky glue, if you end up wanting to glue down anything bigger like buttons and stuff like that, tacky glue is good, but it will take longer to dry. And then my all-time favorite, which I showed you last week also, um, we're mixing it in with our ink. My favorite is Slow Dry Gel Medium. Um, this is the Chico, um kind from Michaels. They probably have it at Walmart, places like that too. Um, so Gel Medium um, is also water-soluble, um, but uh, it works really well. It, it holds stuff together. Um, if you are a painter, you might have like Liquitex gel medium. Um, this is, oh, this is modeling case, but basically Liquitex also has nice gel medium if you were doing something that you really wanted to be super sticky. Okay, so adhesives and then your plate. One day I'll clean up. That day is not today. Um, okay, so this is an awesome kind of cardboard for you. I'm thinking, man, I don't want to have to edit this video. Hold on just one second. Okay, so <laughs> this is just a piece of cardstock, okay? Not cardstock, um, there's a word for it, I don't know, but it's cardboard. It's cardboard that is not corrugated. So corrugated cardboard is this stuff where you, it's so like your Amazon packages come in. It's the stuff that has the ridges in it, okay? I have learned by doing it the wrong way that this stuff is better for your collagraph plates. Yes, it's not as thick as um, the corrugated bumpy cardboard. However, 
you're going to get all of those ridges and bumps to show up on your print and you might not want that. So this is a great base to start with. Or if you have old canvas panels sitting around, so like this is an old canvas panel um, that I just had extras of. Um, so those are great plates as well. And then you can see from some of these examples I'm holding up here that a collagraph plate is pretty simple, that you're just taking stuff, can be paper, cardboard, string, trash, all sorts of stuff. You're gluing it down, arranging it however you want. Um, and then on Friday, we'll be printing from it. And we'll talk more about that later. So these three are abstract sort of just um, um, experiments. I have not printed from these yet, so I don't know how they're going to turn out. Hopefully, maybe I'll get to do that on Friday with you guys. Um, but we'll talk about some of the things I have glued down on here. So I keep garbage in a box. Calligraph. <laughs> um, so if you if you do get into calligraph printing and it's something you want to do fairly often, you might end up you know starting to recognize things that would be great um, because they have nice texture or because they might you might be able to manipulate them easily to add to your plate. So like this is packaging like. I think my air conditioner came wrapped in this. I don't know. This is, it's hard to see here on the video, but it has cool ridges. So when you ink those, all those ridges are going to show up. Another great thing to have, I think some potatoes came in this or like clementines come in this as well. Also, this, this like kind of meshy netting material. Okay, this is super fun to ink as well. Tissue paper is excellent because you can crinkle it up. And then once you glue it down, so like here I have this tissue paper here. So I crinkled that up and glued it down. And so all of those wrinkles are going to show up in my print, um, which is cool. I love that. Um, string I have here as well. Um, it's super fun to cut string apart and then unravel parts of it and glue that down on your holograph plate. Um, cardboard, literally like there's nothing you can't use on a holograph plate. I have seen like kids before like want to glue down giant cotton balls and like you can do that but it's going to fall apart and it's not going to ink as well. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about um, what you're gluing down. Buttons, um, chunks of styrofoam, like, um, and cardboard. So let's talk about cardboard a little bit more. And I'm going to talk about how um, I made the printing plates for the Black Lives Matters fundraiser that I did. Um, so this is a good one to see. So um, these again, this is what I used to make the printing plates for the Black Lives Matters poster. So I had the back of a canvas board. I didn't need any more. Okay. And then each of these letters I had to write and then cut out individually, okay? And what I use for these, super fun, relatively cheap comparatively to like buying linoleum stuff. This stuff. So this is sticky foam. You can get it at Walmart, you can get it at Michael's and the craft store, stuff like that. Amazon probably has it. Um, okay, so it's the stuff that's like the foam, and then you can get this the foam that's not adhesive, but it's so much easier with the adhesive because all you have to do is write your design on the white side, and then you have to be careful when you are putting it down on your um, plate. Okay, so if you want to put letters on your plate, okay, so I'm going to talk about how, how I did this, and then I'm going to talk about some alternatives if you don't have foamy stuff, okay? So, if you have your foam, I'm going to use this little piece here. Okay. If you have your foam, I'm going to try and hold it up so you can see it.
Okay, I'm gonna do a small one because it's just a sample. Okay, so I have my foam and then I'm writing on the white side, okay? All I'm gonna write Okay, <laughs> so once that letter is cut out, okay, I'm only going to do the letter H because you probably don't want to sit here watching me cut out a letter for this long. <laughs> okay. So. Honesty hour. I have a hard time remembering which direction to put my letters in. So I have a cheat sheet that I keep on my wall here. And I'm stuck on the wall. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so, because I remember once I figured it out once, I wrote it down and I said, we're going to keep that here so I never forget again. So, printing from foamy blocks. I'm reading right off of my post it note right there. So, you wrote normal. And the white side, okay? Write your normal letter there. And then when you put the letter onto your plate, okay, they need to go in the opposite order and flipped, okay? So now I'm realizing the letter H wasn't a great example because it's the same either way. Um, so you stick it down just like that, but I'll, I'll write on here so you know what I'm talking about. So if I wanted to write, If I wanted to write the word this, okay, I need to put the letters down in the opposite order and flipped, okay? So instead of left to right, putting the T first in the left, it needs to go opposite and flipped. So I would have S and then I, H, and then T, and those letters backwards, okay? This makes my brain hurt explaining it. Hope it doesn't make your brain hurt either. But think about it. So I'm pretty sure when you when you see this, this is backwards also, right? Okay. So you see it says no justice, no peace, but the letters are backwards because I'm put them down with the letters in the opposite order and flipped. And why that is, is because when you're ready to print, your plate goes on the table. And then you're putting your paper on top, and that's where you got your print from. Okay? If you're like, oh my god, Maddie, what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Message me if you want, if you want to do it ahead of time, or if you want to talk about it on Friday, we can do that too. Or if you don't want to use letters at all, it's up to you. Okay? Um, what if you don't have foam? What if you don't have the sticky foam to work with? Another thing you can do, just cut out cardboard, okay? So um, I have done that before. Um, I'm not the most patient person, so I really I really prefer the, the foam because you just stick it down nice and easily and you don't have to wait for the glue to dry. But if you do, um, if you do just cut out cardboard and put those letters down, then you're gonna need to make sure that your glue is nice and dry and check that your letters are in the right order before you glue it down. If you want to arrange the letters on your plate and then send me a picture to have me check that they're okay and they're in the right order before you glue them down, that's a good idea. Okay, so other photograph plates I have here, things you can work with. Um, this was, I did an Earth Day t-shirt, okay? So just with using screen printing, like fabric ink paint, um, I was able to do collagraph printing on a t-shirt, okay? Um, Here's another abstract one that I printed from before with, you can see the corrugated cardboard. So my plate is the thin cardboard that doesn't have the ridges in it, but then I cut out corrugated cardboard to put down on it. And so I have that texture and that fun stuff. Okay. Um, I think I have a, a, a finished print of this somewhere. I'd have to find it. Um, here I used scraps from the foamies. 
and I've never printed that. Maybe we'll do that on Friday. Um, and here's my favorite one. I just got a big blob of ink on it from my messy hands, but I haven't printed from this either. So we'll get to do that together on Friday. Um, this little chickadee. Um, so as you can see, I did this in layers. You also have the option to make multiple um, plates. So if you want to do like the outline of your chickadee in one color, outline that with your collaged items on one plate, we'll ink it, we'll print it, we'll put it down. And then on a second plate, you could have the next layer. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'll be able to show you in action on Friday and I can answer your specific questions. I could go on for hours and hours about collagraph printing, but I'm trying to give you an overview now so that we can ask some more specific questions when we're together on Friday. Um, the, the picture I put on um, online is a collagraph print and this is the plate that it came from but see how it is all inked up so i'm showing you again here it's back in my portfolio sleeve so it might be shiny here okay um so it's up to you on how you want to ink a collagraph plate because you can do it in black and white like that and then, or you can do a black and white and then paint on top of it in the white spaces that are left behind. Or you can also apply your ink, your paint, onto your plate with a paintbrush. So I might make the chickpeas top of their head um, purple and then this wing green. And I can do that by just applying the ink with a paintbrush. Okay. Um, I got a lot of ink on my hands somehow. Um, I'm not sure if anyone has any other questions, but this is YouTube. I am talking to a screen right now. Um, I will see you on Friday. Register on Eventbrite. If there's a problem with the Zoom link, let me know. I feel like there was something else I wanted to say, and I can't remember. Um, oh, I do have another box here. If you want to glue down, um, this holograph natural materials, um, because... Normal people have a box of pine cones, right? <laughs> um, tree bark um, is cool. Things with texture. So if you're outside and you're seeing um, things with texture, um, grab them, glue them down, put paint on them, see what happens, okay? We can talk more about natural items that we can holograph with on Friday. Um, if you would like to seal your plates, okay? I think my all my spray sealants are in my classroom so I don't have them here to show you um I can post some brand recommendations um so polyurethane um sh shellac I think it's called another one um so you of course want to have good ventilation while you do that um but it is always a good idea to seal your collagraph plate because the reality is like this one I did not seal and so I can't really ever use this again because all that like I touched this, that's how my hands got so dirty just now, um, because there's ink all over it. Um, but if I had sealed it, I would be able to wipe it off better and then continue to use it. I hope I'm making sense. Um, but if not, there's nothing new there. <laughs> okay, um, I will see you on Friday. I talked for way too long here, I am sorry. Um, Calligraph is super, super fun. And let me know if you have questions. Register online. Bye.